Hi everyone, in this video we are going to be learning about the center radius form of a circle. So this format is a way to write the equation of a circle and its format is x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. So it's important to note that h and k represent the coordinates of the center and r represents the radius. So if we take a look at an example here, x plus 2 squared plus y minus 5 squared equals 64. This circle has a center of negative 2, 5 and a radius of 8. To find the center and the radius quickly, we could just really take the opposites of these values. So that looks like a positive 2, so the center coordinate for the x value is negative 2. The minus 5 would make the y coordinate 5. And then to find the length of the radius, since 64 is r squared, we're going to take the square root of that value and we get 8. In some of the problems in this video, you're going to see that we are not given the length of the radius. If that happens, we will be using the distance formula with the center and a point on the circle. And if instead we don't know the coordinates of the center, we are going to use the midpoint formula with the endpoints of the diameter. All right, so let's take a look at some sample equations and we'll start off simple here. All right, number one, identify the center and radius of each circle. A is x minus 6 squared plus y plus 1 squared equals 100. So the center is going to have the coordinate 6, negative 1. I'm basically taking the opposite values of what's in the parentheses here. My radius is going to be the square root of 100, which we can simplify to 10. In B, notice there are no numbers in the parentheses there. We can almost imply that that means it's x minus 0 squared plus y minus 0 squared equals 49. That means the center is going to be the origin, which is the point 0, 0, and our radius is square root of 49, which is 7. For C, let's take our opposites. Our center is negative 7, negative 3. Radius is 4 when we take our square root. And for 1D here, for our center, we're going to get 0, positive 4, and our radius is radical 9 or 3. All right, in number 2, we're going to be using the same idea, but we're just going to reverse it. So instead of being given the equation, we are going to be given the center and the radius, and we're asked to put the equation together. So if the center is 0, 0, and the radius is 2, we can think about this as x minus 0 squared plus y minus 0 squared equals 4. And I'll walk through how I did that. 0 doesn't have a sign, right? It's not positive or negative, so we can't really take the opposite of it. So I'm just going to put minus in there. It wouldn't change it if you had a positive, but you'll see me simplify this in a second anyway. Now, since we know the radius, remember what the number over here is really r squared. So I need to square that too. Now this is really not the best way to write it. Anytime the center is 0, 0, we're going to get rid of that minus 0. It's not necessary. So x squared plus y squared equals 4 will be our answer for 2a. b is a step up from that. Notice the x value is 0, so I'm going to end up with another x squared here plus y minus 6 squared. Right? Remember we're taking our opposites. And notice it says the diameter is 16. Well that means our radius is 8 and the radius squared is 64. Remember, the radius squared and the diameter are not the same thing. The diameter is 2 times the radius, not radius squared. 2c, x minus 5 squared plus y plus 2 squared equals 25. I took 5 and negative 2 and basically inverted the signs and then squared the 5. And for our last one here, 2d, x minus 3 squared plus y squared, nothing to take the opposite of. Radical 8 squared is just 8. Okay, think about radical 8 squared. The radical and the squared are going to basically cancel each other out. They're opposite operations, and we'll just get 8 there. All right, so that's the basic idea of what we're doing um, in this lesson today, talking about center radius form. We're going to look at some more examples. In number three, we are asked to write the equation of the circle shown below. So we are not blatantly given the center and the radius, but we can quickly find it. I see that the center of this circle is going to be the origin, 0, 0. 
and the radius, I can just count the boxes and I can see the radius is four. So if I put this together in an equation, I get x squared plus y squared equals 16. Remember, I don't have anything to take the opposite of for the zeros and for the four, I need to square it. Let's look at another one like that. Number four, write the equation of the circle shown below. So once again, we're just given the graph here. So I can see that the center is going to have the coordinates seven, four. Okay, so I see it marked in my picture here. I just need to read the coordinates on my graph. So seven, four, the radius is two. I can just count boxes to get that. And when I put that in my equation, X minus seven squared plus Y minus four squared is equal to four. All right, number five, write the equation of a circle that has a center of zero, zero and passes through the point three, four. So this is a question like we talked about before. I told you it would show up in this video where we don't know the length of the radius. Okay, so I'm just going to scroll back for a second here. If we don't know the length of the radius, we are going to use the distance formula with the center and a point on the circle. Okay, so notice in this problem, the two things were given, the center and a point on the circle. So I'm going to be using the distance formula and I'll recap recap what that is here. It's the change in x value squared plus the change in y value squared all under that big radical. All right, so if I plug in our points here, I'm going to get 3 minus 0 squared plus 4 minus 0 squared. This is going to be 3 squared plus 4 squared. This is going to give me radical 25 or 5. So this is my length of the radius here. So our center is zero, zero, the radius is five. Together, that's gonna give me x squared plus y squared is equal to 25. Sorry about that, 25. We have to square the five. All right, number six, same idea. We are given the center and we are given um, a point on the circle, we need to first figure out the radius. So I'm going to do that by utilizing the distance formula. Subtract the x's squared plus subtract the y's squared. Uh, coincidentally, this one looks like it is also going to come out to be 5 as our radius length. And when I put this together, though, it's not the same equation, just the same radius. Um, so our center is 3, 1. Put my opposite values in, and I get 25 here. One thing to just take note of on these questions where I've seen people make errors is when you're taking the opposites and you're writing the equation, you're using the center. So make sure you're picking the correct point. Since the problem gives you two points, you could look too quickly and pick the incorrect one. Make sure you pick the one that says center. All right, number seven, write the equation of a circle whose diameter has the endpoints negative two, nine, and eight, seven. So on this problem, we are not given the center and we're not given the radius. So I'm gonna suggest that the first thing you do is you find the center. So to find the center, I'm gonna use the midpoint formula, which is this, add the X values, divide by two, add the Y values, divide by two, And that will help me at least get my center point. All right, so this looks like negative 2 plus 8 is 6 over 2 is 3. And 9 plus 7 is 16 over 2, so 3, 8 is the coordinate of my center. But notice I still don't have the radius. I'm missing a lot of information. Like all the information we need, we're missing. So to find the radius here, I'm going to use the center. And you could pick either end point. It doesn't matter which one. Both of them are points on the circle. Uh, let's say I just pick the first one here, negative 2, 9. Doesn't matter. And we are going to now use the distance formula. Kind of like repeating the process now that we did in questions 5 and 6. So we're going to subtract the y values. And we're going to subtract, uh, excuse me, subtract the x values, then the y values. And I get the radius is equal to radical 26. So let's put this all together. X minus 3 squared 
plus y minus 8 squared equals 26. So in order to do that last step, you're using your center of 3, 8. You're using your radius of radical 26, and you're putting it all together to get your equation. Since this type of problem is a little bit longer, let's try one more like that and make sure we get the hang of it. So on number eight, same question, just different coordinates. So I'm going to start by finding uh, the center here. So 1 plus 7 over 2, 2 plus 4 over 2, and I get that my center is 4, 3. To find the radius, distance is equal to, remember we're going to use the center in either endpoint, doesn't matter which one. So I'll just pick uh, 4 minus 1 there. And I'm going to get 3 squared plus 1 squared, so radical 10 as my radius. And then to write it in center radius form, we take our center, we take our radius. We're going to take the opposites of the coordinates of the center. And we're going to square our radius. And we get x minus 4 squared plus y minus 3 squared is equal to 10. All right, for our last two problems today in this video, we're going to just be graphing circles. If you have a compass, um, that will come out really nicely then. You can make a nice exact circle using a compass. So on number 9, the center is 0, 0, and the radius is 9. So here's how I do this. I plot my center, and then I count out 9 units in each direction. By each direction, I mean going up, down, left, and right. And then those four points that I just plotted, I am going to connect them, making a circle. And this is where, again, you can see mine didn't come out great because I went too slow. Uh, this is where, again, using the compass could certainly come in handy. There we go. Okay, if you're doing it notability like I am, you can now kind of like drag these little white squares so they are exactly where you want them to be. And now I have graphed x squared plus y squared equals 81. All right, let's try one more graphing question. So the center is 2, negative 3, and the radius is 5. So I'm going to start by plotting the center, so at 2, negative 3. And then I'm going to count out 5 boxes each direction, going up, right, left, and down. Once I have those four surrounding points, I'm going to connect those. And you may use your compass to get there. And if in notability like me, if it didn't connect and it didn't automatically convert to a circle, we can just try again. And there we go. We have it on this next try. So that's the graph of the circle. X minus 2 squared plus Y plus 3 squared equals 25. Hopefully this video helped you learn a little bit more about how to work with the center radius form of a circle. If you're also learning about how to use completing the square in order to get a circle equation in center radius form, you could check out the next video in this playlist. Thanks for watching.